What's up, everybody? This is attorney Dan Winnegan, and I want to talk a little bit more about franchising and trademarks, right? So someone asked me this question, like, do you need a trademark before you can start franchising? So technically you don't. And there's some nuances with common law trademarks and registered, federally registered trademarks. Um, so I'm making the assumption that you don't have a federally registered trademark or a, a state registered trademark. And you're, um, uh, you're just using uh, it in a common law or unregistered use uh, and assuming you have priority. So technically you don't, but if you are thinking about franchising, and it, actually even if you're not, right? Fra uh, trademark is a good way to protect your brand so that no one else is kind of writing your goodwill, writing on your coattails to uh, basically steal your name. Even if you're not franchised, you should really highly consider it for your for your concept. But if, you're, if you are franchising, um, your concept technically you don't but um, you're gonna want to and I'll tell you why uh, having a federally registered trademark gives you certain certain protections uh, against against infringers and as a franchisee someone who's gonna buy into your concept they're gonna want to know hey how strong is this name is this name protected because um, I don't want to buy into this concept and then find out later that um, it's they don't have the right to it right and with a registered uh, trademark that you have a stronger, as a franchisor, you have a stronger position. It's like, hey, yeah, we own the rights to this, and um, um, we have we we have exclusive use of this name or logo or what? How, how are you going to protect it? And as a selling point to the franchisees, it's I think it's puts you in a stronger stronger uh, position to not only protect yourself but uh, say to the franchisees, say, hey, yeah, we're le we're legitimate franchisor. We have these uh, registrations or pending registrations uh, coming in, right? So um, whether you are franchising or not, um, highly consider getting a trademark. But if you are franchising, all right, make that a priority because that is kind of one of the three parts of what a franchise is, whether it's registered, regist registered or not. But uh, with the registration, you have much more protections and it's a better selling point to the fran potential franchisees that are buying into your concept. All right, so hey, this is Dan talking about um, trademarks and franchise registrations and selling franchises and whether you need to have a trademark first before offering uh, franchise units for sale. All right, this is Dan. Talk to you soon. Bye.